Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm here with Plugin Boutique. And today we're taking a look at the newest features and the latest Big Kick update. Big Kick is a kick drone synthesizer slash sampler where you can design, edit, and otherwise make a kick drum perfect for your track. It's made up of two main sections. There's the sampler section up here at the top and then the synthesizer section down here at the bottom. The sampler section is mainly used for the attack section of a kick. If I turn off the body, and preview that. It's the short, higher frequency ranged, punchy part of the kick. And then there's the body, which is the subby low end of the kick itself. And then when you combine those two things together, you get a great sounding kick. One of the newest additions to Big Kick is the ability to add a second sample to your kick drum using sample two right here. If I go ahead and activate that, now we have three sound elements coming together to make an epic kick. I have the same set of controls for sample two as I do for sample one, and that is the high pass frequency range, the decay time, and the gain. Big Kick ships with a number of banks of attack samples, and you can find them right here in the factory settings under the bank button. And as you can see, there are quite a few wave files in each one of those that you can switch through. You can load two of those samples at the same time by using the banks. Or you can drag and drop samples from your sample library. Here I have some kick samples. I can just drag them right into the drop down menu. And not only is that sample loaded now, but the next and previous buttons will go right through that pack wherever those files are located. That's awesome. Working our way down, we have the display window. And not only is this great for kind of visualizing what the kick is going to look like, and it updates whenever you make any changes. If you turn the sample off, for example, you'll see that just the body is being displayed. If I turn the body off, we have nothing. I can turn the sample one on and see what it looks like. And that's them combined. But I can actually click and drag right into the DAW here. And now I have that kick exactly as it is displayed here with all of these settings as a sample right inside of my program. That works the same way whether or not you just want to take the attack or maybe just the body. And it's a really quick and easy way to get instances or variations and in kicks right inside of your DAW without too much hassle. Another really big and really great update to Big Kick is the ability to split the output. And what that means is I can actually send the output of the attack section and the output of the body section into two different channels inside of my DAW and process them differently or independently. So let me go ahead and turn on the sample here. And the way to do that in Ableton Live is to make a second MIDI track, come up to instrument, drop external instrument on there, go over to MIDI 2, Big Kick, and the last thing we need to do is inside of the Big Kick GUI, there's a split output button. We turn that on. And if you look at my two channels now, they're both getting audio. If I solo this first channel, that's the body. If I solo the second channel, that's the kick. So now I can add compression just to the body and leave that attack section alone. And that's just really great, especially if you wanna get really into processing and designing kicks for you know sample packs or for your projects. Big Kick now ships with a number of teasers from the expansion pack libraries available on Plugin Boutique. If we open up the file here, we can go to expansion samplers. Now these all come with the download of Big Kick and there's four for each one of these expansion packs. So if we go into Dodge and Fusky expansion, we now have four kicks from Dodge and Fusky expansion pack available to us right inside of the Big Kick download. Not only that, but we now have next and previous buttons in the master section to cycle through or addition some of the kicks that we have in the library. Just hit next, next. And if we wanna go back, just hit previous. That's pretty straightforward. Speaking of expansion packs, it's now easier to install them inside a big kick. You come to the info tab, go to install add-on packs, click that, your browser will open, you navigate to wherever you downloaded the pack, and then follow the on-screen instructions to where to install, and you'll have them available quickly and easily. Those are just some of the great new features in the Big Kick update. If you already have Big Kick, I highly suggest going to download the update. If you don't have Big Kick, you should go download the trial version and check it out for yourself. Anyway, I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.
Thank you.